Hey guys, I'm Comrade Turtle, and you are watching Turtle Time. Today's topic is one I've been curious about for a while now, and that is, what is Aki Makura? And why do we as a culture of furry like them? Well, while surfing the internet, on Furfinity specifically, hashtag not sponsored, I came across a website called Furry Aki Makura. Com, and they have agreed to be interviewed by me. Their link will be in the description below so you can check them out later. Now before we dive into that, go into what it is by definition from Wikipedia. A Daki Makura is translated loosely from Daki to embrace or claim a Makura body pillow. Well not body pillow, but pillow in general. It's a large type of pillow from Japan. The word is often translated to English as body pillow. In Japan, Daki Makura are similar to Western orthopedic body pillows and are commonly used by Japanese youth as security objects like a blanket or teddy bear. During the late 90s and 2000s, these things have been intertwined with the otaku culture. In other words, it's the otakus, weeboos, whatever you want to call them, and thought, I can't put my favorite character on a pillowcase for my pillow, and then fall asleep hugging my favorite character. And it happened. Here we are today. There's also a subset of this called love pillows with life-size renditions of characters. Oftentimes in suggestive poses. This could be anything from anime characters, game characters, nerds, your favorite actors, or even furry characters. Not sure how I feel about that one, but it's why we're here, so let's keep the ball rolling, shall we? So I reached out to furrydakimura.com. Once again, not sponsored. Maybe in a future video, I don't know. It could happen. I asked them six questions, and I'm going to read them off right here. Eep. <sighs> All right, question one. What are the appeal of the Daki Kamura, or Daki for short? They answered, it's a way for you to interact with a fictional character by having it physically there with you in bed. Mm, kind of like a Chinese fortune cookie. A means of having a cuddly intimacy with something that's imaginary. And it's like a plush toy for grown up. It helps you feel less alone to have something to hold. I mean, they're not wrong. How many of us still fall asleep with a pill or a stuffed animal that we sleep with on our bed? Call out in the comments below if you do. No judging. Number two. Why would someone want a docky of their character? They answer, generally because they have an emotional connection with the character. It is not unusual for us to do customs of someone's boyfriend or girlfriends OC for them. Now our biggest sellers are from franchises where people already know and love the character. Makes sense. Question three. What are some pointers you would give to people who want to make one of their own? Their answer is all our manual to the letter. Other than we need it, makes perfect sense. The vast majority of the customers we reject or return we get are from pill kittens that don't follow our print instruction. If you're commissioning a custom, give the artist our manual and template before they start. I mean, you don't want a, a pillowcase that has a character that is way too big for it or way too small for it. If you're super small, uh, then you may want to simply get a design for a smaller pillow than a body pillow. Question four. What made you decide to start this business? They answered, originally I wanted my own dog. This was supposed to subsidize my collection, but it's morphed into something larger because I wanted to help artists with products that their fans want and are difficult to pirate. Maybe I want to do a pirate character, in which case it will be easy to do it because you're commissioning a pirate, but hey, generally speaking, going through a legal means to get your character done and to help other artists, this is a great way to do it, in my humble opinion anyway. Question 5 and 6. What are some of the costs for making one, as well as how much does it cost on average to get one? Their answers are, we charge approximately $50 per unit or custom. Most licensed designs are $60 and some are 80. The increased prices reflect a larger portion of the sale going to the artist in terms of licensing fees. Yeah, I'm tired. That was heavy. All right. <laughs> Once again, I would like to give my thanks to furrydocumerus.com for agreeing to interview with me. And when I have the money, I plan to support them by purchasing a pillowcase of my own. Maybe even do a commission of my character. Would you guys be interested in buying a case for Kame? Let me know in the comments below. Do you have any other furry merch that we buy in this fandom that you want to learn more about? Let me know! Well, if you liked what you saw and want more, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications when my next 
video airs. Leave a like or maybe a comment. And I hope to see you all next time. John A. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Click the video on screen right now to check out another one of my videos. Until next time, John A.